will never do this. <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs> Hi, friends. Okay, the friends, it's story time. We were talking the other few minutes ago <laughs> and we realized that we have never shared this particular story with you and it was the worst most desperate diet attempt that I have ever done I don't know if if you all of you have seen the video where Kyle and I talk about how we met we met through the internet we spoke for a year online and by phone before we actually met each other a few days before we were going to meet I was around 200 pounds then my heaviest I was like 275 280 the last I had weighed myself but then I was 200 pounds and I was desperate for him to not see me fat there were three days to go um, so he was gonna see me at 200 pounds but anyway I found this place in the phone book because there were phone books then <laughs> um, that guaranteed you to lose inches in a couple of hours by doing this wrap thing so I paid $200 you go to this place you're supposed to drink like a ton of water the night before then you're supposed to go in you drink this drink this clear drink I don't know what it was they bring you in the back you get down to your underwear and they wrap you with this wet stuff kind of like tensor bandages and you're covered in all these wet things and then they cover that with plastic wrap okay you're all, you're wet you're fat you're embarrassed you've paid two hundred dollars for this and they measure you before too like they measure take all your measurements and then then they tell you now you're gonna jump on a trampoline a mini trampoline you're gonna jump on it for an hour they let you choose a movie and you watch a movie while you jump on this trampoline soaking wet in your underwear covered in tensor bandages and saran wrap this this is to lose Wait. Wait in quotation Wait. marks. Desperate attempts to lose fat so that I don't look fat for Kyle, to meet Kyle. Who I've been talking to for an entire year. Both of us already knew that we loved each other before we even met. We don't even... He knows what I look looked like but that was a very old picture. I had no idea what he looked like. But I already knew that I loved him. Um, so why was I desperately trying to lose weight to someone I knew deep down didn't really care what I looked like? Mental. Um, so <laughs> I was just clearly, I wasn't thinking straight. I was listening to like my fat brain instead of my logic. So anyway, I do this whole process. They, they remeasure me and I lost something I can't remember exactly because it was a very long time ago but 12 to 17 inches off my total body then you're supposed to not eat for several hours or drink for several hours after this whole process so I left feeling like super cool because I like lost inches and now I'm okay to go and meet him even though in reality when I looked in the mirror I didn't look any different I, I wasn't, I fit in the same clothes, I was the same size, I had just lost some water weight and that was because I was getting dehydrated jumping on a trampoline covered in saran wrap. And that's technically, you know, that's all they're doing is dehydrating you and it's basically like a sauna effect. People think they're burning fat there, you're not. You're just dropping water weight and you're getting very dehydrated and it can be very dangerous. Yeah. So here I was like desperately trying to make myself smaller in reality I was gonna see him in three days I wasn't gonna drop 50 pounds of in fat. in a fat in three days I knew that deep down I knew that I could you know really hurt myself doing that but I was desperate and you know what friends I'll make a confession 
my own version of getting wrapped in seaweed was not <laughs> eating a carb, you know, not touching a carb leading up to meeting Nicole where I thought I was going to go from very obese to like this skinny buff dude in like a couple weeks. So I basically starved myself before I met her and we didn't know that like both of us didn't no. know that we were you know taking these desperate measures because we were so fearful of being judged and when we met each other even, even though, though we knew deep we knew down. each other already yeah so we wanted to share those stories with you to remind you don't listen to the fad diets don't follow fads listen to your heart and your gut and trust your instincts and know if you have any doubt or if it sounds really fishy, like you're going to lose all of this weight in a very short amount of time, you're not, you might lose a few inches or you might lose some water weight. You're not going to lose the fat in that short of a period. And not only are you not going to lose it, it's not healthy to lose it like very that. Very dangerous. You, Friends, you guys know better and you're worth more than that. Don't treat yourself and your body like that. It's not yeah. worth it. And that's why we're telling you this because... We harmed our body in so many ways doing all of those desperate crash diets, crash diets, um, all Quick these fixes. attempts. Yeah, I even did that. Now that I think of it, I even did that juice that came out that was popular. It was called like the Hollywood diet or something where you drink like that bottle of juice for like two weeks and you're supposed to drop like 14 pounds or something. I lasted like two days because you're only supposed to drink and I started binging because you can't survive on li on liquid diets or anything drastic like that. So really friends, be careful in what you do and we really want you to know if you're planning on losing weight and keeping it off, drastic measures are not going to work. We want you to stay safe and healthy. Small changes will honestly get you the big results. And Kyle and I did tons of those things through decades over and over and we would lose it, but then we would gain it back and more. And don't listen, any potential partner, potential friend that you're going to have that would judge you for being overweight. They're not worth they're having judge, in your life. They're a judgmental prick and you don't want them in your life anyway. No. So friends, just know that Kyle and I care about you and that is why we are very honest with you and we tell you all of those things. That is so embarrassing. But I wanted to tell you guys the worst, most desperate thing that I've ever done because it shows you how silly that was. I can see it now because I'm on the outside looking in. But when you're desperate and it's you're... Real, it's serious and we, it's real. And we you. get it. And we understand that. And we understand where you might be thinking about trying these, you know, drastic measure diets, um, the fad diets. We get, we totally get it. Just know that we didn't start getting results, like proper results, losing weight steadily. Permanent. And, and keeping it off until we took until we changed our lifestyle, stopped dieting, and just started portion control. Loved ourself, being gentle with yourself yes. really, really matters, and that will yeah. make the difference. Making the small steps was what changed our lives. Taking the fast, quick, so-called easy steps got us deeper and deeper into the hole and bigger um, in the end. In the end, you know, we were almost tipping the scales, me 300 almost, and Kyle almost 400. 400. So all those diets did was get us more and more obese and almost kill us. So um, we love you and we care about you. You deserve to love and care about yourself and know that small changes, yeah, it might be a little bit slower, but it's, it's going to be real. And it's going to be a lifestyle change versus the quick stuff. And don't listen to these social media swindlers and no. charlatans trying to sell you <laughs> quick fixes. No, it doesn't work, friends. Small changes equals big results. You can do it. Don't, don't wrap yourself in saran wrap, guys. Don't jump on trampolines. That's, you deep down in your heart, you know better you know than that. that. And even if you don't have anybody and you don't even care about yourself... 
we care about you more than that. We know you're worth more yes. than that. Yes. Any time that you're about to do something silly diet-wise or like skip a meal. Take away food Take groups. away food group. Imagine me at 200 <laughs> pounds covered in saran wrap jumping on a trampoline and think big X across that. And, sea no. and seaweed. And seaweed. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking of seaweed wrap. Tensor band-aids and saran wrap it. and seaweed. Yeah. Think that. And then realize how silly that sounds and stop it and portion your food. And allow yourself treats. And don't take away food groups. And acknowledge and accept where you're at and move forward slowly from where you're at right now. Because you're good and enough right now. Yes, to take you are. care of yourself. Yes, you are. And anyone that says that you need to do something to lose weight quick or that you need to lose weight, you need to lose them, not the weight. Yeah. So the friends. Thumb it. Yeah. Thumb, we, thumb me. Yeah. <laughs> we, we love and care about you. And we wanted to share that with you so that you know it's not worth that. You are worth way, way more than that. And... When you start accepting where you are and who you are, you will then start making the small changes to get the results like we did. And we, you know, we've both lost 130 pounds. So that's a total of 260. And we did it taking slow steps, small steps. So the friends, don't forget to like this. Okay? And don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already subscribe. And don't forget to love yourself, okay? And if you don't do those three things, you're gonna get this angry eyes of doom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> None of you want any of that. Nope. Trust me. I don't. Because I'm getting it in person. <laughs> Thanks for... You don't want any of it. Thanks for watching the friends. Bye guys. Love ya. Peace.